Christy Anderson and welcome to my fish cave. I know all y'all men out there, all my angler men, y'all have man caves. Well, it is time I introduce you guys to my fish cave. Right behind me, I've got our rod and reel quiver, but if you guys can see, we've got our spinning tackle. We've also got some bait casters. There is one that is missing, and that is the one rod, one reel to rule them all. You guys, that is the fly rod right here. If you guys can't see this, it is the Silver King Fly Fishing outfit right here made by Worldwide Sportsman. This is one venture that I have not journeyed down yet. So you guys are going to be first to step with me into the journey of fly fishing. So without further ado, y'all, we're going to do an unboxing of this bad boy right here because it's about to go on my back wall and uh, you guys are going to be with me every step of the way. So we're going to get into it. Uh, I'm really excited. My husband actually got this for me for this Valentine's Day. So all my lady anglers out there, Hope you guys got as lucky as I did this year. All right, so first let's get this bad boy out of here. And uh, we actually just picked this guy up at Bass Pro. At least my husband likes to take me there on dates. And first of all, loving that this is coming in a case. Uh, There's a really nice carrying case for this rod. Whew. And here we go. All right, piece one. All right, you guys, you have to know one thing about me. Uh, I do all sorts of fishing, as you guys know, as you guys have watched our channel. Um, everything from salt and freshwater, we are at it. We are out there getting it. Um, so this is going to be a really, really fun kind of thing that I'm going to be starting with Jeff uh, right now. Once it warms up, we're going to be getting into some flats fishing and also bringing this out to do some bass fishing, too. All right, so it looks like there's four pieces to this thing, and um, if you guys can see inside this carrying case, um, super fuzzy in here. It looks like sheep, uh, sheep skin or wool right here, and it's a zippered nylon rod and reel travel case, so this is really great. Um, here, if you guys want to check it out in here. Uh, again, it's a zippered nylon rod and reel travel case, and it's a really good design, great for protection. And this tube right here is solid, so this isn't going to bend or break. I'm pretty sure you can even drive over it, which is perfect because if you don't know anything about Jeff and I, he actually just drove over my crutches a couple weeks ago after my foot surgery and split them in two. So, got to make sure you have a serious rod and reel case. All right, so a little basic about uh, the setup here. It comes in four pieces, and it is a Silver King fly fishing outfit by Worldwide Sportsman. Already got that covered. Um, if you guys uh, know anything about rods and reels, please leave a comment in the line below because I really know nothing about this. So I actually had to do a ton of research what I was getting myself into. Uh, just some basic facts that I kind of was researching and have talked to a few other um fly fishermen experts out there. Just things that they've sort of passed along to me uh, that might be helpful for you guys too if you are new to the journey or if you've been on this journey forever and you guys want to either correct me or help me along the way, that would be awesome. Um, but a couple things to start with. So this is a four-piece IMG Graphite travel rod. So we've got that established. Clearly this is perfect. Um, you can probably bring this thing, um, planes, trains, throw it in the back of your car. This is awesome. It can fit in a backpack. Um, which I like because I want to be able to fish any time that I want. Um, so love the fact that it is completely compactable. Um, also, let's just take a, a look at the first feature. This is going to be a bad boy, I can already tell. So one thing that the box is telling me, you guys, it is a ceramic stripping guide. Don't know what that is. Would love if you guys left a comment below to tell me what that was so I could learn. Uh, also, just kind of looking at this reel right here, uh, there's oversized snake guides. Again, I'm not sure what that is. You guys, this reel right here looks pretty sturdy. This looks really durable. And again, most of my rods and reels are pen. Uh, and the Pen Fierce is one of my favorite uh, spinning tackle that I like to use when saltwater fishing. Super durable. Can kind of withstand any elements outside. And this bad boy right here looks like it's about to do the same kind of work for me. So also, uh, this right here looks like an adjustable disc drag on this side right here, which is really nice. And uh, it also has, um, it's loaded with weight forward fly line and braided polyester backing. So um, also it's a fun blue 
uh, line right in here that I'm messing up as we talk, but um, you guys kind of get the gist. This looks really nice, super sturdy, and I think it should do, uh, do the job out there in the elements when I'm doing saltwater and freshwater fishing. Um, also, one thing, um, so this is labeled at 200 bucks, you guys, but after talking to a bunch of people, um, I actually got this on sale for 150 and it came with a carrying case. So after talking to a lot of fly fishermen out there, they said that this is really comparable to a lot of the high quality, top of the line kind of rods and reels, but it does the same thing, same trick, uh, and it, it really is successful out there on the water, and it's gonna put you on fish, be durable, and basically give you everything that you need to be successful out there uh, and give you more fish catching potential. Um, also, one thing that I don't think I even mentioned, so this is a nine foot fly rod, eight weight. So if you guys have no idea what eight weight is or what a weight is, basically um, it's totally different than your classic spinning setup uh, for as far as series or whatever that is. So your weight category, um, basically, it's just the classification system. It has nothing to do with how much your rod and reel are actually weighing. It's just the classification system that they put it. So, for instance, an eight weight is going to be perfect for Jeff and I since we like to get out there and do a lot of inshore fishing for the inshore slam. So, we're going to be getting on trout. This is going to be great for rockfish, redfish. Um, if you guys are down in Florida doing some peacock bass fishing for us, this is going to be amazing out there for a lot of our freshwater, for smallmouth, largemouth bass. Super stoked uh, to get out there and do that. I just wanted to point one last thing out about this reel. This is a really solid reel right here, uh, aluminum, and this looks like it has a lot of line capacity for when I'm out there on the water, uh, as well as this drag setting, which uh, is pretty adjustable. So uh, with this being an eight weight fly rod, this is really comparable to my 4000 pen series right behind me on spinning tackle, and this is kind of your one size fits all. So whether you guys want to get on some smaller fish or let's just say you guys get out there and have a good day and you guys hook up to some, uh, maybe some cobia or some overslot drum, you guys might be able to reel and land that thing if you are playing your drag right, just as with my 4,000 pin spinning tackle right behind me. So again, this eight weight is really comparable uh, to my spinning tackle that I'm usually out there with. Let me actually show you guys what I use when I'm out there on the water with my spinning tackle. So I'm going to show y'all my 4000 series right here. And this is really comparable to what I just bought with this fly rod 8 weight. I wanted to show you guys one thing. Uh, so as you guys know, with your spinning tackle, your drag is adjustable right on the top of your reel right here. Whereas with your fly rod and reel, it's going to be on your side. So there's no top portion where it's at. This is going to be right here on the side. So different, but hopefully going to hook me up to the same fish. But if you guys get lucky and y'all are out there fishing with your 4,000 spinning tackle, or if you guys are doing fly fishing with your eight weight rod and reel, Hopefully one of these days you guys can actually land some tarpon or some bigger fish if you're playing with your drag just right and with a lot of line capacity should put you guys on some bigger fish too. Uh, just like Jeff and I always like getting on the inshore slam, we're going to be getting on tons of trout, drum, uh, rockfish this summer and hopefully a lot of flounder too. So really excited, time to put this thing together, show you guys what this looks like. Hopefully it can fit in my garage because my garage is not that tall. Guys, just need to make sure you put it on nice and tight so that way your pieces don't go flying once you cast it out. Sweet. All right, and here she is, y'all. Hold on one second. Let me put this back here. All right, you guys. So this is my nine foot eight weight fly rod and reel set right here and um, really excited for the inshore slam getting out there on those flats doing a lot of fishing if you guys have any questions feel free to hit me up hopefully I can try and answer any of them if you guys have any tips or tricks that you guys want to pass along to me I'm always open and welcome to them and would love if you guys wrote something below all right you guys thanks for joining me in my fish cave and hopefully I will see you guys next time